Hey, it is the Gavin and the Rob. I'm just adding the to it. I'm taking your gimmick. It's okay. That's uh, it. That happens around here sometimes. Now, over the weekend, we saw Ghostbusters. Not together because we don't associate outside of work. <laughs> well, not always. Yes, we no. uh, we went independently and saw the movie. And uh, I saw that your review on Facebook was glowing. It was. I loved the Ectoplasmic, movie. Ectoplasmic, if you will. <laughs> uh, I would. I, I definitely love the movie, but I'm already on the defensive because uh, I know there's going to be one sticking point uh, in this that we're going to be focusing on. And I want to forward this all by saying, thought the movie was great. Thought it did a huge service to the franchise. I like that it's bringing it back. It seems like there's obviously more sequels on the way. I'm happy about that. I am a happy Ghostbusters fan. Go ahead. I love this movie. It was so good. And I'm not just fanboying to be just to offset the internet hatred for this film for some reason. But in my I thought it's I think it's better than the original. I had more fun in this movie. I thought it was funnier and I just it, overall it was a more enjoyable movie <clears throat> experience for me. Okay, I want to talk about some things the movie did really really well. Uh, for example, I feel like calling the original Ghostbusters a comedy is kind of putting it in a box a little bit. Uh, I feel like there is a really unique mix of comedy and uh, action and horror, like, you know, horror, like you know, like yeah. funny, scary stuff. Mm -hmm. But there's a there's a there's a mix of that stuff that the first one has, and the second one has, and that this one nailed. Uh, the camaraderie, the chumship, the friendship, like the the feeling, the 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 warmth you get from a Ghostbusters movie yeah. is totally present, mm -hmm. and that's that is I think the hardest part to nail, and they got that, like Grand Slam got yeah. that. I love that. Um, I also liked um, how um, it. How, I just feel like uh, the chemistry was there the way it was with the guys. Yeah. If that makes sense. So those are things I thought the movie did really well. And those are like, I feel like, intangibles. Like, you can't you can't just make that. It has to be there. Mm -hmm. And so that was the, I thought that was fantastic. Um, okay, so you're, you're four years younger than me. Yes. And I am, what I am, I would call, I was on the slightly young end of Ghostbusters mania. I was born in 83. What was the first film? Like, 85? It was 84. 84. Okay, so the first film was the year after I was born. It was before you were born. Mm -hmm. But I grew up with Ghostbuster mania. Uh, it w I remember seeing the second movie in the theater being very young. Um, I remember having the toys. I remember the cartoon. I remember having t-shirts. Ghostbusters. I remember lunchboxes. I remember Trapper Keepers. Uh, I had. I was a total Ghostbuster nerd. I loved it. I also was a total Ghostbuster nerd. Like I had all the toys. I, I the kind that you could like put in the freezer and it looked mm -hmm. like they had slime on them. Yeah. I had the Ecto One. I never had the firehouse. I did have the firehouse that um, dripped the ooze. I was more poor than you. Uh, <laughs> And was then, that toy even out when you were alive, though? It was. Okay. Yeah. Now, I, I don't want to downplay you because I know you're a huge Ghostbusters fan, too. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not trying to trump you. I dress up like a Ghostbuster. I know you were one of the Indiana Ghostbusters. I know yes. you're committed to it. Um, I'm not committed. Even, eh. I'm just saying I'm older than you, and I was definitely in, like, the Ghostbuster Prime, probably mm. a little bit more than you were. And it, this movie just, it, it only lacks that enveloping feeling, and maybe it's just that I'm older, and um, I do love that the stuff I loved as a kid is, like, still cool. Like, Ninja Turtles are still cool. Mm -hmm. And, like, Super Mario is still cool. And Ghostbusters are cool again. And I love that it's being brought back for a new generation. I just can't say the only thing I disagree with your review is that it was better than the first two. And I think it's at least, I, I think it's better than the first two. I think it's definitely better than the second one by far. Yeah, I'm surprised you think that. Um, the second one, do you not like that? Or yeah, like, nobody, I, the, the general consensus is that the second one is not as good as the first one. Um, I mean, it might not be as good as the first, but I think it's right up there. I didn't, it's just not good, it's, uh, yeah. It's basically, people were complaining about how the Ghostbusters remake or reboot, the one that came over the weekend, is basically just doing the same thing, but they already did that with Ghostbusters 2. Uh, there was an Honest trailer that came out right before the, the weekend mm -hmm. where they basically just do side by side saying, oh, Ghostbusters 2 is the exact same movie as Ghostbusters 1. Uh -huh. And I like, I love the first Ghostbusters film. I do. I, I like it. I just, I guess I just don't hold it as high esteem as some people do. That I don't have it 
on this pedestal that some people do. Also, I'm going to say it, I'm not a huge Bill Murray fan. I don't get it. I don't know why everybody decided just to be obsessed with this one guy. He's the he's my least favorite part of so many movies. Caddyshack, he's my least favorite part. Really? Yeah, I just don't... I'm, I, I'm a Chevy Chase guy. I like Chevy Chase. Um, I, I, like, I like Chevy. Uh, I like Bill, too. I, I'd probably say I like Bill Murray better, personally. I'm a big SNL guy. Yeah. I'm very familiar with those you know first five seasons of the show. They're both fantastic, but... Um, there's a lot of people's comedy who hasn't aged well. For example, I'll go ahead and say it. One guy I don't think is funny, never have, was Steve Martin. Um, See, so, you now feel free. I know, I know you have a lot of comedy opinions too. Plain straight just, automobiles just hold oh, the puzzle. Don't, 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 no, 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 no. John Candy is great. John Hughes is great. Uh, anything they touch, I think, is gold. Um, but like his his comedy to me, especially from SNL and that time, and, and he's not he's not my cup of tea. I guess hasn't aged well. I bet you if I were older, I would have, I'd appreciate it more. I think Bill Murray's stuff, like Chevy Chase's, ages really well, and um, I can watch his movies from you know whether it be the the early '80s with Caddyshack or if it's that even late '70s, I'm not even sure. Uh, through Groundhog Groundhog Day is funny. Like I've always liked Bill Murray. Um, I like seeing him in, in the new Ghostbusters, personally, and he was definitely my favorite Ghostbuster growing up. Yeah, see, I've got to say that we have not discussed who I feel stole the show in Ghostbusters. Okay, let's talk about it. That is Chris Hemsworth. Oh, I disagree. Really? And I yeah. Really, ah, I love Chris Hemsworth in this. I loved his character of Kevin. I thought he was over the top. I loved it. I loved it. It was so funny. I liked it. I didn't... I, I, in fact, lighting might be pushing it. I, thought, I just thought he was too much... Um, man, um, I'm really going to come off like I'm trashing the movie. I didn't dislike it. I liked it a lot, but his, I found his role to be just too much over the top. See, I loved it. I thought it was perfect. The line about the saxophones was great. Yeah. That line was great. Uh, watching some of his physical comedy was funny too. Like when he was on top of the roof, I thought, especially in the end credits, I I appreciated that. Um, I have always thought Kate McKinnon is underappreciated as a female actress, comic, whatever you want to call her. On SNL, I think she's a shining star. Um, Leslie Jones, I thought, did a great job on what's pretty much her like Hollywood debut, I think. Yeah. So, uh, and I think that Melissa McCarthy is always funny. Mm-hmm. Um, Kristen Wiig, um, I don't think her role was intended to be as funny as the yeah. other three. But um, yeah, Chris Hemsworth, I would put fifth on the funny pedestal. Yeah. That's so unfortunate, because uh, I love Chris Hemsworth. I, I think he's so funny. I like a guy who doesn't take himself too too seriously, because he's Thor. He's Thor. And he, yeah, sure. But I like him. Yeah. I, I like I him just, in general. I just, I just love that character. Do you care if I bring my my cat? No, it's a, it, it's a dog. It's a dog. <laughs> no, that, the, see, Michael Hat. Again, I don't feel like people speak that way, but I mean, I, I'm with you. Yeah. I, I get what, where you, you found the humor in that. What about this? Um, I saw the box office this morning, and it was disappointing. Uh, I made like forty two, I want to say, but came in second to week. Secret li- it's a secret life of pets. Yeah, week two. I think that people were more concerned about how that was going to be. So maybe the positive reviews will get people out to see Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. And I do want you to see it. Like I don't want to be coming off as the negative. I'm not negative on this movie. My girlfriend loved it. Loved it more than the first one, just like you did. Yeah. Um, Is she going to be single soon? <laughs> I don't think so. However. Uh, she, I showed her the first two, so she was not like a huge Ghostbuster fan like you and I were. But that's, uh, who do you side more with? I don't think our opinions are all that different, but here's the question. Yes. Do you like the originals, or do you like the new one? Did you see the new one? I'm just glad I gave the movie a shot. I, I, I kind of I wanted to not like my it. My roommate is just refusing to go see it. He's a lot like, of people no. are. He's just like, no, it'll ruin my childhood. Your childhood probably wasn't that great to begin with. <laughs> Let's be real. So um, I do hope they bring back the uh, the fire station with the dripping ooze. Yeah. Uh, it was a great toy. It was. Um, probably one of my favorites. You're I going to have... eBay right now and see that I still can't afford it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, who's who's right, who's wrong here? I think, it's, I, th- I think it's me, but uh, let us know in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching uh, our review of Ghostbusters, the remake with uh, girls. And it's like we're calling Ghost to Ghost. Ghost to Ghost.